Checking on Money Matters this morning, the plastics industry is fighting back against bans on its products, and a Jacksonville-based company reaches a deal with Kohl's. Jane King joins us now live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters Report. Good morning, Jane. Yes, a good morning to Bruce and Jane. You want some Jaguars gear? Kohl's, the place to go. It is expanding its selection of sports paraphernalia through a partnership with Fanatics, which is based in Jacksonville. Now, the deal will offer Kohl shoppers more fan gear online that starts this fall. Shoppers can expect hundreds of thousands of items, team apparel, jerseys, hats, collectibles, tailgating, and novelty products. And these will be both pro and college teams. Well, a robotics company snagged a $3 million contract at the U.S. Navy. RE2 Robotics will be used in a program called Starfish, and it will develop a dexterous hand with tactile feedback. Now, the Navy intends to use the robotic hand for mine countermeasures as well as explosive ordnance disposal missions. Plastic companies are fighting back. The Wall Street Journal reports that trade groups are spending more on lobbying and public relations amid mounting regulations on plastic straws, bags, and takeout containers. The trade groups say plastic bag bans aren't successful at reducing overall waste, and they can end up causing job losses as well. Well, researchers from the University of California, San Diego, have developed a wearable that could completely change the Way we think about heating and cooling our bodies. So this is a patch. It's designed to be worn on the arm and it actively modifies skin temperature, making the wearer feel warmer or cooler depending on their own personal preference. So no more fighting over the room temperature at work. Live from the NASDAQ, I'm Jane King. Back to you, Bruce and Jen. Oh, good, because oh, then you can fight about something else. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Exactly. <laughs>